Good evening, everyone. It's Dr. A. Vasquez. In this video, I will be discussing behavioral genetics um, in one minute. So let's go. All right. So behavioral genetics, how does it relate to crime? Why is it important? Why am I discussing it? So um, it is said that obviously we, we have this thing called genetics, right? Behavior, molecular, and you get these traits of genes from your parents and so on, right? So some people believe that we act in a certain way that our parents had. Maybe your parents went to the military, you're going to go to the military. Maybe your parents went to college, you're going to go to college, right? Maybe your parents got married at a, what, 35 years old, you're probably going to get married at 35 years old, right? So the theory is in behavioral genetics that criminal behavior genetics are also passed down, right? Unfortunately, uh, that is some of the things that we have, right? Maybe your parents were involved in criminal activity or someone's parents, and now they're involved in criminal activity. Maybe ha they have criminal tendencies. The, uh, the offspring will have criminal tendencies, right? So that is what we're talking about, behavior genetics. We're talking about criminal behavior genetics that are passed down that will promote or posture the individual to uh, conduct criminal activity more than they wouldn't uh, it, in comparison to not having that um, behavior genetics uh, for criminal activity. Thank you.